in hints of a thousand years and the return of an ancient city and an ancient people, and I was in awe. I sensed I uncovered or was directed to an important and profound message. I didn't, even, I, I didn't even tell Maureen instantly. I sense I had uncovered or was directed to an important profound message when I, when I uncovered the message and I wrote it all out and I could see I was actually reading a message. I didn't tell Maureen. I went upstairs and I looked out the window and I felt really, really nervous because I felt it was a bit of a burden because I felt it was so real. And um, I would later go downstairs and tell Maureen. Personal clues. Within the 47 words, there's a word called metonymy. And it's fairly close to the middle, which means to relate associated words. For example, the White House said, the White House doesn't speak. What it meant if the White, the White House said that they're um, uh, uh, saddened by Ted Kennedy's uh, death today. Well, the White House didn't speak. What they mean is the President said that or somebody in the White House. So that's what the word metonymy means. It's associated related words. So the White House said really means the White House means the President. The meaning actually des describes interpreting the message. So one of the words in the thing is actually how the message is uncovered. And then on top of that, I notice that metonymy says me, Tony, my. I'm Tony, and it just, because that one word is how um, associating related words is how I did this, I just thought it was even peculiar with that. And also because of my uh, strong influence by the Greeks, um, that is a very, very uh, strong Greek word. Uh, meaning actually describes interpreting the message, also reads me Tony <coughs> Mind, the word before Methuselah is methotrexate, the drug I take daily for rheumatoid arthritis. Um, that's the drug I take every day. It's called methotrexate. That's also an MET word. But at some point, I had to decide what words were going to go in and out of the message. Because aside from meteor, there was meteorologist, meteorological, meteor. There were nine meteor words. So I just took meteor. And all of the drugs that were in there, and I, I since may have made a mistake by not including those words, because I would like to look back at the words I took out and see if even those words have some meaning, and I'm pretty sure they do. But anything that had to do with chemicals, drugs, <coughs> were removed, or if I felt there was some du duplicity in the words, they were, re were removed, like meteor meteorological. I got it now. <laughs> uh, then, confirmation. I noticed that the three words before the 47 word met message were message, messenger, and messiah. And the word before met to return again, they were the word before met to return again. So I feel I have a message. I go beyond the message, outside the message, and before the message are the words message, messenger, and messiah in that order. Then I go to the end of the message. The last word being metal. And the last word at the end is mu. M-E-W. Maureen Elizabeth Williams are her initials. My wife. And we used to have a company called mu. It says in the dictionary it's a cat sound mix, even though I thought it was meow. But they make a mu sound too. <laughs> Again, that was a wow moment for me. It's got the initials of my wife at the end of the message. Mu, M-E-W. At the beginning of the message, it's got message, messenger, messiah. It was like, how much more obvious could this be to me? Noah's grandfather, later did, I also looked up Methuselah. Methuselah, by the way, is where we come to the thousand years, when you saw the thousand years. When you look up Methuselah in the dictionary, a biblical character noted for living a thousand years. And that's where we get the thousand years out of the message. 969 degrees out. I would later determine that, that Methuselah, I didn't know this, maybe some of you uh, more biblical people would know this, but when I did my research on Methuselah, I, I, Methuselah is not only Noah's ancestor, 
He's Noah's grandfather. So the grandfather of Methuselah is Noah. Amazingly, my first and only grandson, born less than a year at that time, was also named Noah. Another wild moment for me. My only grandson. And by the way, Matt and Noah both totaled 38. And 11. I, I didn't really go through much in the message. Um, it was in great detail. <coughs> Uh, and I'm not going to go through the message because we frankly don't have the time, but I highly encourage you to read that part. And a deliver sir message. I reflected on the three words before the met message. Message, messenger, messiah. And I sensed that these words were important and they seemed to verify the message itself. So I went to the dictionary. Message, a communication. Messenger, one who bears a communication, writing, in speech, or by signals. Messiah, the expected king, and deliver the Jews or Jesus. Numero numerologically speaking, the total for Messiah is 74. That is also the same number for Jesus and cross. If you do their numbers, they also will total 74. Um, the reference, um, uh, reference Messiah is, in, in, is rarely used in the Bible. I, I reference <laughs> Messiah. In a, in a book I have, I have several different study resources. I have a, a, what's called a Bible study dictionary. And I noticed a flag page earmarking Anna. So there was a little flag sticking out uh, right on the word Anna in my Bible dictionary. And I knew, I remembered when I put it there. I placed it there over 10 years ago when I was building a list of holy names and places that began with the two letters A and N. And by the way, in the appendix of the back of the book, I found 80 people who uh, important people with the letters A.N. spiritual people. So um, that's what drew me to Anna. <coughs> so who was Anna? At that, but previously, I didn't care. Well, the only thing I was concerned about is she's one of those people I need to put my book that had A.N. in her name. She's a prophetess in Jerusalem. When the child Jesus was brought to the temple to be presented before the Lord, she declared him to be the Messiah. Didn't know that. While looking up Messiah, deterred by Anna, who was revealed as the person who declared Jesus as the Messiah. Again, this seemed more than a coincidence. Every time I would go somewhere, it would bring me back to where I was. It's almost like confirming everything I'm doing. Then I did the numbers. I'm a fanatic for that. I have what's called an alphabet chart. Um, Anna, I did the numbers uh, and letters for Anna. Numerol the numerological number for Anna is 30. That's the same number as the Bible, is 30. It's also the same as Dave, which is 30. And I also noted that Anna, A-N-N-A, represents the first two letters of my children. A-N for Anthony, and A for Natalie. My, my only two children. Anna, ancient Bible, a biblical woman from Jerusalem. Amazingly, the number <coughs> totals for ancient and woman both total 66. She's an ancient woman, and they both total 66. There are 66 books in the Bible. And the geographic totals for Jerusalem are 66.6. .6. You take 